The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse, like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, it'll sink to the case of you. Watch out, somebody. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. Her face looked normal from that angle. around. Let's get used to the controls here. Welcome, guys, to a brand new playthrough on the channel. My first ever experience with the Resident Evil 2 remake. I'm already blown away. That intro was fantastic. Loved the trucker's earrings, by the way. Those horseshoes were pretty nice. This sort of feels a little bit like uh, the Evil Within. Also, I, uh, I gotta respect Leon here because <laughs> this is like how I dress. I know I'm wearing a hoodie, but his outfit is how I typically dress. Except he's like missing a button on his buttoned up shirt there. Maybe two. I don't know. He's got a good sense of style. Okay, let's get used to the controls a little bit. I don't think we have a gun on us or anything we can pull yet, but... wonder how far I can go. Wow, we're going much farther than I thought. Okay, and then he just stops and turns around. That's cool. I, uh, I don't really have a reason why I never played this game. As a fan of survival horror, specifically Resident Evil, and my uh, unhealthy obsession with Leon, I don't know why I never played this one. Um, I think I just got distracted by so many other games, and this just, you know got put on the back burner, but I finally got a chance to play it, and I'm happy that I'm able to do this uh, for YouTube. I'm going to screenshot that. I really want to screenshot a lot of the stuff that we see here. I heard this game has gotten rave reviews, a damn near perfect game, which I'm very excited for. Waste of time. 
And I also feel like, I don't know, the way that this is designed, this is how all the Resident Evil games should be. I love the sort of openness that we have here. I might want to change the sensitivity on the controls because it does feel a little slow and heavy, but that's all right. When life has you seeing red, enjoy the wild taste of Dingo Red cigarettes. Refresh your mind with the nameless can of energy drink, presumably. Now, as far as playthroughs for this game, the only thing I've seen so far is this experience. This might have actually even been part of a trailer that I saw. Hello? Anybody there? <sighs> Something's not right. But yeah, the motion and movement. Definitely feels more like the evil within. <laughs> So that guy's freaking out. Kate Upton. You all right? Don't move. I'll be back for you. Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. Oh. Freeze! I'll shoot! I should pop one in his head too, just to be safe. Damn. Three freaking headshots. I feel bad for uh, those ice creams he's got on. I'm gonna get him covered in blood. Cool, got the key. Are you serious? This can't be. Three headshots? Four? Five headshots. I don't know if I'm able to put him down. Hey, what are you doing? I gotta be careful. I don't want to run out of ammo. When you need to use an item to unlock a door or solve a puzzle, select the item, and then that command, okay? Well, it says use, that's easy. Jesus. Oh, jeez. What the? What in the hell? I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit is right. Come on! Get in! Hold on. I don't know. Hopefully 
hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. Looking for my brother. He's a cop, too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Damn, that was a hell of an intro. This might just be my favorite zombie game of all time. That was phenomenal. I feel like an idiot for not playing this sooner. Everything seems so screenshotable. The UI is clean and simple. The environments are full of life, vibrant of color. The threat is real. And everything is very, very cinematic. They had a really great um, sense of artistic vision, I think, on this one. And I would be screenshotting pretty much everything you've seen so far if it wasn't for the uh, introduction credits. excited for this. I'm hyped. Pumped. Attention hyped. all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but... What if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Appreciate the optimism, Leon. Jeez. But it'll be nice to see the aftermath of the outbreak. Looks like we're walking from here. In an upgraded game. Holy hell. More like running. Yeah, good call. Jesus. Heavy. We got back up. Back up, yeah. <laughs> oh god. The car, I remember this. Oh, that guy. Holy shit. There, get out. Get out now! <laughs> This is amazing. No wonder people love this game so much. Can I squeeze by between those cars or can I jump over it? How the hell do I get through here? There we go. Gotta watch out for the ground zombies too. Everybody. There it is. 
the station. There's a bunch of zombies in between all the cars there, too. This is getting so good. I'm so giddy. It kind of feels like the way I'm feeling right now is kind of like waiting for like Avengers Affinity War coming to theaters, right? You see the advertisements, see all the movies building up to this and we're finally here. That's what it feels like. That's what I'm feeling right now. I'm so anxious and so excited to see how this goes. This is the best looking Resident Evil game by far, and while I consider having played Seven and Village both beautiful, the first person perspective is great, but returning back to a third person that's a little bit more, I don't know, Resident Evil-ish is very, very nice. This is a, a demonstration in master class for sure. All right. Now, I don't know I feel like last time we were in uh, the police department in the earlier games, there was like some herbs sitting out here. Oh, well, my footprints. Are they bloody or is that just rainwater? Oh, no, that's not my footprints. And those are blood for sure. I wonder Hello? what's... Is anybody here? I wonder what saving is like. Ammo for sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was going to say they do have the save point. This might... Oh, don't make me do ribbons again. That's going to be annoying. I hope that's not how it is oh we do have the chest though let's see what it says for the save uh oh cool so we don't need ribbons anymore <laughs> i wonder like the original game since we're saving at a typewriter is this going to give us like um a score at the end probably i think all the games give you a score based on your saves that was a fast save oh it's got the okay it did an auto save for me 12 Oh, this is an earlier one that I did um, when the game first, first came out. I remember that I did actually get this far in 22 minutes. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I did play this before a little bit. I don't think I played a lot, not enough to be worth a mention, you know? Okay, let's take a look and see. Do we have anything in here? There has to be someone here. Is that live or is that a pre-recording? David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Shoot him in the head, man. East hallway. find that guy yeah this is unlike any other resident evil game ever if they want please god go back and remake all the games like this one through six Re redo them all so they feel like this got some more ammo there too and we need a knife to cut that although come on i feel like i could be able to use a key and just like shimmy it We've all ordered from Amazon and used our house keys to cut the tape open to get the package. Come on. Let's see, is there any other? Okay, so that's... Okay, the reload. Aiming. Three medallions. I don't think I can squeeze in here, can I? No. Nothing that I can grab. It does look like the map also, oh hey, first aid spray, is uh, going to do that thing where it highlights everything red until you've cleared out the area. I heard something, it sounded like a zombie grunt, but maybe I'm mistaken. This is going to give me one medallion, I think. 
a dial of some sort that we'll interact with in a minute. How many are there? Fish, arrow, three, four, five, six. Okay, I've done this before. Resident Evil 7 is what I did this before. Um, where I just went through all the different combinations until we got it right. There's probably a key around, or a, uh, a clue around here somewhere. Let's see if we can find that. Three dials. Does this have three icons next to it? it does not. We can just do the process elimination. I'm going to do that for a second first and see if that works. Okay, so basically, you just got to toggle between all the options. I know there won't be two, though, that are the same. So we're going to go ahead and do arrow. Okay. Toggle you. I guess bow, that one's an arrow, maybe it's a leaf. It's never two the same. Okay, so it's not that. So we're going to use you up, and then we're going to go here. Oh, wait, there's a lion in this one? Wait, was there a lion in here? There's not. Okay, it's harder than I thought. Never mind. That's going to be a little bit harder. I'm not going to do that. We'll figure it out eventually, somehow. Matilda handgun key. Gotcha. Hey, some more ammo. I'm so excited. This game is brilliant. It's. I was gonna say brilliant, but then also beautiful came to mind. Brilliantful. Brilliantful. Let's see if that catches. <laughs> Didn't assume not. I also like the voice actor they chose for Leon. That door looks like it'd be open. But I really wish they would bring back Leon from RE4, that voice actor. I thought those were some items over there that I could pick up on that shelf, but I don't think I can get there because the cots are in the way. That's okay. Like, I just... RE4 Leon is always going to be my Leon. Damn, it's a freaking huge-ass herb. code somewhere. That was just reflecting something. Oh, it's just the way the computer angle is. Okay. Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know, while we're on the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. The Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. <laughs> I think it's it. Very cool. Oh, can't go here. Okay, so when I first picked up the game, I did put in about 20 or so minutes of it, and then I, I don't know, got stuck doing something else. I do remember down below, there's that uh, metal gate door thing. Um, and we can lift that up. That's the last thing that I really remember. Yes, here we go.
Oh my god, the buckets of blood on the floor there. You gotta be real, I wouldn't do this. <laughs> Leon's as brave as he is stupid. 13 shots. These plants are about as big as the herbs that uh, we could use. Oh, I need a fuse. Kenny, to look at the... I look for dead bodies. I can't really read that. Oh, every time I look at the... Mirror? River? I can't tell what that says. I look for dead bodies. Every time I look at the river, I don't know what that says. That's just standard something, something, something. I always like looking at that stuff because it... I always think there might be like some sort of hidden message or clue or something there. see any bodies in there, but we know that there are some. Is that me walking? No, it's something else. You got this. They say that. Wonder, let me take a look at the options real fast. I feel like the screen is tearing a little bit. That's bothering me. Um, the graphics. Can't change that now. Rendering mode, normal. I think that's probably better. Image quality refresh rate is up. Frame rate. Let's go variable. And I'm going to turn VSync on. I know that's kind of like a big no-no around here, but... That feels smoother somehow. Okay, this yellow tape, it looks like... Oh, we have to hold that. Duh, it says that. You have to cut that open at some point. Leon has to know that he's making all this damn noise and zombies are popping. Okay, here we go. Three bodies in view. Jesus. There's a zombie around the corner here. Somewhere you can hear it. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! I'll get you out! Please! Give me your hand. Help me! I got you. Give me your other hand. Hang in there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. Okay, officer's notebook. Goddess statue. Three medallions. Elevator down, question mark. Oh, he's got the drawing. Looks like a scorpion, a fish, and I can't do the first one. Um, parking lot and the way out. So he's got three options that he lists here. I wonder... Oh, there we go. Uh, lady head, arrow, that. Okay, and this one is fish, scorpion, and then a... I don't know, it looks like a vase, maybe? Okay, so there's three different locations that house medallions that we can obtain. Gotcha. Good to know. Dude, this guy. He got it worse than anyone. Wow, 
that's not working out well for us. Jesus! How do I fight back? Oh, that kills me? Oh, he can fight him off. Okay, cool. I was gonna say. Jesus. Marvin? You're safe. For now. Thanks. Marvin Brenner. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I couldn't... Here. I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Leon got bit, though. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. Nice. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. No kidding. Well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie! You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out, or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. The sheer emotion of all this. <laughs> all right, we got the combat knife. Okay, ready stash. All right, cool. Let's see. As you take damage, your health monitor in the bottom left will drop from fine to caution to danger. When in danger, quickly heal yourself with a green herb or first aid spray. Okay, so we're okay for now. Um, let's go take a look. Ready, sub weapon and attack. Okay, I think. Okay, first of all. Reload that. Secondly. How do I grab one of these things? I wonder, can I favorite it? Examine, unequip. I can't mark it as a, like a thing over there. Can't move it. Weird, okay, whatever, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so we have Officer's notebook. Let's see. So this one is what? This is the lion. Okay. So lion is a lion head, grass, and a bird thing. Lion head. I guess that's not really... I don't know what that is. Thistle. Bird thing. There we go. Cool. Lion medallion. Oh. There we go. Medallion numero uno. I don't know what order these have to go in, but I'm going to go ahead and pop this one anyway. Did it for me. So Elliot was right. Yeah, but the passage isn't open yet. And we still have to go back to that other area, too. There's a lot of stuff on that side we didn't get a chance to look at. Could use a little more ammunition, though. Got 
some stuff over here. This is not how I imagined my first day. <laughs> no kidding. Worst possible scenario. All right, let's see what we got here. Wooden boards. All right. Oh, yeah, I can take it. Can I combine this? No, the herbs thing, I kind of want to keep them separate. I think we'll be all right without that. Okay, we have a lot to explore. All right, the average length of these video episodes, I want to keep between 35 and 40 minutes. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and save it now. Thank you guys for taking a look into this uh, first episode of Resident Evil 2 with me. Very excited about the future of this playthrough. This one's a little bit shorter just because I wanted it to be an introductory episode, but you can look forward to more episodes right here on the Mark 9 channel, part of Mark After Dark, with new episodes debuting each and every evening at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you enjoyed this video and if you're looking forward to the rest, be sure to hit the like button. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel show your support if you have any feedback for me leave it in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible otherwise uh, thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time when we continue on with resident evil 2 later